today we're going to review the pit barrel cooker standard version and we're also going to cook a little bit on it. So with the standard version package you get the 30 gallon 18 gauge steel drum, you get eight stainless steel meat hooks, two hanging rods, a charcoal basket, a standard grill grate, wooden hook remover, three point barrel stand and they throw in 10 ounces of rub. I also highly recommend picking up the sausage, hot dog, or brat hanger. As mentioned before, this is the original pit barrel cooker, which is the standard size. It retails for $349.99. We also have the pit barrel junior, which is a bit smaller. That retails for $249.99. We also have the pit barrel PBX, the pit master, and that retails for $500. All very reasonable for a very versatile cooker. Let's jump into the cook. So I'm using some lump charcoal. You can use regular charcoal, but this is just basically already charred wood and some tumbleweeds to start the fire. I used my chimney starter, uh, but I don't think you need it. You can just basically use the grate that it comes with. I'm also gonna be using some Jack Daniels whiskey barrel smoking chips and some apple smoking wood chunks. So for the initial voyage on the old pit barrel cooker, I'm going to do a whole chicken and I'm going to do some bratwurst. So like I said before, I highly recommend picking up the sausage hot dog or brat hanger. I've got two of them here. I'm going to throw a few bratwurst in, a couple different styles. This one's a, just a plain bratwurst. And on the other rack, I'm gonna throw a couple of cheese-filled bratwurst, cheese-bacon-filled bratwurst, and a cheese and jalapeno bratwurst. These hangers are really easy to use. It clips in at the bottom, and then it's got a little collar at the top. You just slide up and slide back down over the top, of the top side of the hanger. Set. Let's rub down the chicken. So the chicken has a rub of uh, pretty basic. You know, I'm going to sprinkle on some olive oil, some brown sugar, some paprika, some cayenne, some pepper, a little bit of garlic, and then rub it down. Nice and neat. Flip it over, make sure it's all rubbed down and covered as much as possible. Oop. I like to make sure the entire area gets covered here with the rub and take out the bratwurst first and hang them right in on these steel rods. Nice and easy. And we'll let the smoke do its magic on those bad boys. We'll leave them on for about 30 minutes or so. Meat hook the chicken right underneath the collar. Take it out and hang it on the steel rod. That'll sit right nice and neat on those rods. And it'll drip into the fire and it'll actually create more flavor in the smoke. All right, let's check in on these bratwursts first while the chicken's cooking. Color looks great. These came out just the way I wanted them to. Woo! Yeah. Let's cut into the plain one first. Oh yeah, it's nice and, ooh, that's a cheesy one actually. Check out the cheese in that thing. Here's a plain one. Yep, gotta have a little taste. And then here's the jalapeno bratwurst. These bratwursts came out amazing. I highly recommend throwing smoke, smoke bratwursts on your pit barrel smoker. Okay, that was beautiful. And 
And now for the chicken. See how this thing came out. It's nice and smoky, dark, cooked to perfection. Cut right into this. I think I need to sharpen my knives a little bit, but I'm gonna recommend not eating the skin on an open fire smoked chicken. Uh, you can in a smoker, but not in a uh, open fire situation. But chicken came out juicy, flavorful, and full of smoke flavor. Delicious. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up your own pit barrel cooker. And I also want to give a special thank you and shout out to Cowboy Kent Rollins. He has a YouTube channel on here and well, he's the guy who introduced me to the Pit Barrel Cooker. Thanks, Kent.